Hi, my name is Majid Allah. Today I'm going to show you how to make architectural visualization for exterior, interior, and also for your sheet design. So, as you can see here, we convert this simple shape into a realistic building. And also, as you can see here, it's a very simple mass model. We convert it into a very realistic building. And as you can see here, this is a house with black and white lines. So we convert it here in the left part into a realistic house. And also, we are going to show you how to make your, if you, are, if you don't know how to rendering in 3D Max or SketchUp or whatever program you are using. So how to add material or colors. Even we can add stone here or any material that you would like. As you can see here, this door was just like white and black, so we convert it into woody material. Also, in this course, you are going to learn how to make interior visualization. So, in this picture, as you can see here, it has no material. Here, we make a material. And also, I'm going to show you how to turn on those lights and add objects. And the final part of this course will be how to design your sheet. So every student or every designer need to make a presentation for his work. So in the final, in the, at the final of this course, we are going to show you how to design your sheet, your own sheet. So in, in the first lesson, I'm going to explain those six tools of the toolbox. Let's start. Before starting, if you are interested to learn AutoCAD or Revit or even 3D Max, this channel highly recommended for you. Please subscribe for it. I will put you the link for this channel in the description of the video. Thank you. So let's start. The first tool in the toolbox is Move. So every tool here on the toolbox has a shortcut just like 3D Max, AutoCAD, SketchUp, and other softwares. It's simply and easy. So for move, if I want to move any object here, so for example, I want to move this photo or, the, or PS photo, the Photoshop logo. So let's search for the Photoshop logo. This is Adobe Photoshop logo. At the beginning, I have to select it from layers, then go to move or hit V from keyboard, then move it anywhere you want. Control Z for going one step back. By the way, if you are not seeing the layers, just like it's hidden, close, okay? Uh, and if you want to show the layers here, so just go to Windows and go to Layers. Now we can see all the layers that we have. So the first one was move. Either you click here or hit V from keyboard. The second tool is marque tool, which is for cutting a part of a photo. So now, as you can see, let's just zoom in. Zoom for zoom Z. Uh, Z it it works with all the software. So everyone I think know it. So the marque tool and the marque tool I can cut any part of the photo. So, I want to cut this part. Just select this part from Marquee Tool, then cut it. So, I will select PS, then I will cut it. Hit Delete from the keyboard. Okay. Now, if you want to delete every part of the, of the picture except the one you select. So, how? As you can see here now, I select this part. Okay. Now, hit Control shift I together as I said control shift I So now when you delete from keyboard everything will be delete except this part that you select. Let's go back I'll repeat it Now I want to delete only P uh, Sorry, I will keep only P letter and delete everything else. So I will go to mark H hole. I'll select P letter Then I will hit control shift and I from keyboard together then delete as you can see everything deleted except p letter let's go back one step 
if you want to go back one step simply click control and z but if you want to back two or three step so in this method you are going to use control alt and z so one step control z two or more steps control alt and z okay so i'll show you i will do this part and this part also and this part this part as well and this part so for one step as you can see control z more steps control l z z z z z as you can see now market tool has four functions so by hitting right click here just go to market tool then right click so you got you're gonna see those bar four parts the second bar is circular or ellipse ellipse market tool so the short the shortcut for market tool is m now i want to cut this part as a circular as you can see it, it doesn't show a real circle it shows just like ellipse so if, if i want to make a real circle just hit shift from keyboard then select whatever you want so i'm going to select ps i will go just like this and i want to delete ps as you can see i delete ps now if you want to let's go back one step if you want to keep ps and delete everything else just hit as i said before Control shift i then delete as you can see here now we have only ps as a circular now the third part of uh, market tool is the row and columns the third part is low row sorry and the last part is column the row part is just you cut a line which is one pixel from the photo so i will select select whatever you want from here so let's select this part this row so just hit delete from keyboard now nothing happened just go to another part you will notice that this line which is one pixel line has been deleted from the photo so let's delete another one delete delete as you can see here now the other part which is the column which is vertical so as you can see here now by the way you you will be un you will be unable to delete any part of the photo unless you select the photo from the layers so the layers is very important i will explain every small detail in the layer in the next lectures so as i as you can see here now i select adobe photoshop cc this is the logo so if i want to hide it from this eye just hide it if you want to show it just click again so now let's go back to the vertical or column market tool now let's delete this part this part as you can see i'm deleting vertically one pixel from the photo now you are selecting this one but when you go anywhere else it doesn't go if you go to view v for move it also doesn't go so how can i uh, hide this line vertical line for market tool just by hitting m from keyboard and click anywhere else okay the third part of this toolbox is a lasso tool what is lasso tool the first one is lasso tool the normal one and the shortcut for it is l so in lasso tool it's also cut any part that you want so for example we, i want to cut only this part i will select it as i want as you can see here now i select this part if i want to delete it as you can see i delete only this part the second one is polygonal which is give you a straight lines so as you can see here now i will select this one this part to give you a straight line now you have a question how can let's go back to polygonal lasso tool how can i make this line straight line either vertical or horizontal so by hitting shift from keyboard you're gonna make it vertical just go down 
a few now it's 45 degree when you go down more it show you 90 degree vertical so as you can see here now so let's delete the square of this photo as you can see I delete vertical lines now the last one which is magnetic lasso tool magnetic sorry lasso tool so magnetic lasso tool is for cutting a part of a photo uh, how let's select this photo so I'm going to show you how we cut this arrow so let's go back to this photo which is this one I will zoom in by Z go to Z to zoom in Z then click on the left click if you go left uh, sorry right zoom in left zoom out so just keep clicking right for zoom in left for zoom out so now we are going to zoom in let's go back to magnetic lasso tool I want to cut this part the white part as you can see it show me the border of this arrow it's very smart tool on Photoshop the function of this tool is uh, will be very important on how to cut people from a photo or how to cut an object from a photo as you can see here now I select this arrow then I will move it now we have the third part of this photo a quick selection tool a quick selection tool allows you to select uh, a part of a photo very fast so for example let's go back to quick selection tool which is this one the shortcut for it is w w for quick selection tool i want to select this part as you can see here just look have a look now let's go w again i want to select this part as you can see it's a quick selection tool i will explain when we have to use this tool the other one it approximately works the same with it magic control <clears throat> but one click so one click here it select the any part of the photo so let's go to this photo it's more clearable w magic one tool as you can see here it select anything I want as you can see uh, in the previous tool which is magnetic lasso tool I told you how to cut this arrow but in the magic one tool it's it makes you it make it easier for you to select it on one click so one click here it select the arrow it's a very smart tool now let's go to the the fifth tool on the toolbox which is crop tool the shortcut for it is C if you don't know the shortcut for it just hit right click and you're gonna see C beside it the letter beside it this letter actually is the shortcut for every tool of it so from here right click we have W for, ma for magic one tool we have here L for lasso tool, here M for marquee tool, and V for move. Here we can't see the V for move, but if you keep uh, hovering over it, you're gonna see move tool between two brackets V. So V, this means the shortcut for moving. This one is crop tool. I think everyone knows what is crop. So crop tool I want to crop this part of photo it's not just like marquee tool or lasso tool it's different so I want it only this part of photo so I will select it then hit enter from keyboard either enter or this true icon so enter it it hides all the photo except this part that I selected 
I'm going back one step. The other tool is slice tool. What is slice tool? Now I want to select this part. Let's edit it. And also I will select this part and this one and this those two photos and this part. So now I have how many bars? One, two, three, four, five, six. So those six bars, when I want to save the photo, it's gonna export it into six photos. Each one I select is a photo alone. I'll explain it later to make it more understandable and easier for you. Let's go back steps. Now the other tool which is slice selected tool. Now it doesn't work. Why? It has to work with slice tool. So I will slice this object, this part. Now let's go to slice selecting tool. It doesn't work also. Why? Because I have only one object. If I make two or three objects, now as you can see here, the last one I made was selected. If I want to select this part only, simply select it, then work with it. If you want to make it bigger or smaller or even wider, and this part also. So now you can see which one is you are selecting. Now let's go back steps. Actually, this is not important. We are not going to use it too much. Maybe one, one time in this lesson. And now the last tool which is I dropper tool the shortcut for it is I this tool it make you to take any color of any part of the photos so I want to take this color so when I take it as you can see here now this color shows on the top so this color came here now just focus here on this square now I want to take this color as you can see it changed or even this orange color or this gray color so it takes you any color that you want why I'm using this one I will explain it later because we have to work with this rectangle and other shapes other tools now the other one is color sample tool it gives you full information about the colors if you are using another software so if you are selecting this part, as you can see here, this part, it shows you the R, G, and B. So those three RGB three letters for the colors that shown on the screen of the computer. And here, the second one, which is CMYK. CMYK for printable uh, information, because everyone knows that in every printer, we have four colors, cyan, uh, magenta, yellow, and black. So those four letters for each color that we have. So it's not important, I will explain it later, because CMYK, we are going to work with CMYK, because after doing the project, we have to print it. If we do it with RGB, it's going to be not with the real color that we are working with. If we do it with CMYK, it will be real color even when we print it. So this is a very important point, point. The last one is ruler tool. It gives you a dimension of any part. So now the dimension of this photo is 1080 by 1920. As you can see, let's go to image, image size. The width 1920 by 1080. Now I wanna take only the width of this photo. So by hitting shift to make it straight. So as you can see here now, the width of it is 20. Let's take a dimension of this one. As you can see now, it shows the height. We have, we have no width. We have only height here, vertical. So the height is 11.61. Now, the last tool, which is not tool, this is actually very important. I use it too much. So, for example, you finish this project, you finish this part of the photo, okay? But you wanna add something, but later. So, 
you just go to node tool and click here one click then type whatever you want so for example in this part I wanna add uh, a plain object so it simply shows here if you go to move tool and you want to see what is the note here so by one click here on move sorry one click double click it show you in this part I want to add plain object so it's a very important tool I really like it too much so now either you want to open note by hitting right click on it open note delete note or delete all notes maybe you have uh, more than one note so by clicking delete all notes every notes will be deleted so delete note for now yes do you want to delete it yes now uh, the first lesson has been finished thank you so much for watching the video and if you are interesting please hit like and subscribe bye bye